Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cami, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, I have purchased a BP 3000 Bloom Plus Light, and I had planted my seeds in my other tray, and I placed it outside so I can kind of get it out of my house and have a stationary place for this light until the greenhouse has been completed. But with the weather here, it's wet, it's cold, it's rainy, and also up under uh, my tray, I have a uh, heat heat pad, uh, plant a planting planter's heat pad, you know, for vegetation to keep the seeds warm, the water warm, so they'll germinate. Well, anyways, I placed it outside, and with all this weather here, my temperature on my heat mat it just would not go up. It was staying around 48, low 52, somewhere around 50, 50s, 52, 53, 54. And uh, so I put a heater out there. I thought, well, let's see if that'll help. But it didn't change anything. Well, we've got some upcoming cold weather out there with that rain. It, it, that is a cold rain. So I had to bring my tray in and I got another room. I had to bring a heat mat in and also bring a light and put it into a different location just to protect these plants until this time period passes by. So I'm going to take you back there where it's at. I have to wear with this uh, this light. You should wear some glasses to protect your eyes. So let's go back there and take a look at the plants now. So here they are. And I had this stationary, this light, to my ceiling. And that's okay, because I feel better about it as I worry about my plants. Are they freezing? Is the light too low? Are, are they burning? So now I can come in here and take a look at them. So the plants are doing pretty good. I've got 18 tomato plants coming up. Those are your summer picks from Haas Tools. And the Hungarian yellow wax uh, Spanish peppers haven't came up yet, nor has the Wonder Green Bell peppers came up yet. So I ended up um, planting, I had five planted there, and I decided to go ahead and plant some more right here. decided to plant some more. And what I planted was, from Cammy's garden, small orange-red peppers. Now, since both of these two have not came up, it's a possibility, you know, just, it's just going to take a little bit longer for them. Plus, with me moving this around, you know, i got to get my temperature regulated. So now it's finally at 81.6, trying to go to 8, because I've been trying to get my temperature up to 85 degrees. Out there in the shed, it was, it just was not warm, uh, warm enough for the soil here, this potting mix, the weather, and for these plants. So I also planted some dill. I planted five seeds. Went ahead and put them in this up here. Put them in there. The straight neck cucumbers, and I got these. Uh, these so easy seeds, uh, dill seeds. They're very Morse from Walmart, and the straight neck cucumbers. They are burbies, or burby, cucumber straight eight, and I planted five, I think five of those. What I did is on my tag, I tried to mark how many seeds I plant, the date I planted them, and the ones that, uh, like I put on these green peppers down here, the red and yellows, or yeah, the red and yellow peppers coming up, I put the date on there so I'll know, and I also still have the date on there. So that I'll know if the other ones come up. Really, last year I had two bell pepper plants, and those things they were, they were wonders, green peppers, and they actually uh, continued up until the frost hit them. If I had another week, I had a lot more cucumber. I mean, excuse me, bell peppers. So these straight neck cucumbers, I planted five. One, two, three, four, five. It came up. Don't need that many cuc cucumbers. That's like more than enough because they produce so much. On the delicate squash, I planted five plants. Um, four of them came up, so I went ahead and planted, put another seed in there. 
one seed I found out that I, I must have hit the missed the hole. Didn't hit the hole. And uh so it um I just went ahead and put another seed in there. And the straight neck squash are doing great, but I did have to go and plant some more. Now um I only put one seed in each cell. I didn't double it because it, it takes very short time for these seeds to come up. Five to seven, ten days, you know. Actually, mine was up in like four days. So it doesn't take very long. And with the straight neck squash, even if the plant's a little bit younger, it's not going to make much of a difference. They'll just continue producing. So I went and put um, my house tools, these golden prize squash. We had and replanted some of those. Now, like I said, some of these seeds might still come up. Uh, I also put in, I had all my seeds, I only planted like five plants of the Delicata, Delicata squash. Um, I went ahead and planted one more seed in there. Um, the Brazil, oh, excuse me, Brazil, basil uh, came up, and I noticed I have two, two plants coming in one cell, so I must have... You know, put two seeds in there. What I'm saying is, is that, you know, putting one seed in there has done pretty good. I'm not going to be wasting my seeds. And it's only been, I've started planting these on February the 5th. It's February the 13th. So, and actually, I, I was just waiting a little bit to see if they would come up. And it's not to say that they won't. I've never had a problem with seeds coming up. But, uh this weather is playing a big part in of it, and I believe, you know, me having them in here is going to make a big difference. There's a zucchini squash, summer squash. Uh, they are dark green zucchini, and these seeds actually came from the Dollar Tree. I've never had any problem with Dollar Tree seeds. And this right here is from Grower Solutions, and it is a grapevine. A grape, actually, is that hanging basket grape? And there are some right there that I haven't planted. Uh, I actually got more than I expected, you know, so I'm very happy about that. And these were called Ramataz grapes. And so they came in. I'm not sure how they, I didn't get notified through the carrier that they was in the, they put them in the mailbox. They might have been in there for a couple of days, but these are a lot of plants in there. So last night I just took, uh, since I expected, you know, I, I thought I would get all of them in one hanging basket to begin with when, they, when I ordered them because they are bare root and uh, this needs some water to it. But um, I got all these and there's, there's a lot in there. But I did put some water on them last night since I didn't get them planted. It's been pouring down, raining outside and... I need to find a container because, like I said, I, I, I got so many here. And uh, so I just put uh, one, two, three, four. I believe they're going to multiply. Possibility. If not, I can always add to it. But this is the, a grape that's seedless. And it um, also, uh, you could eat the, the hull. And uh, so I think that's going to be, I, I'm, a lo I'm looking forward to that, to having a hanging basket grape. Um, that's going to be interesting to me. I'm going to put it in the greenhouse and see how it does when that completion is um, done. So also I put my pineapple in here. I've been trying to grow. Uh, the problem was is that we've had so much rain and dreariness that it, it, just not enough sun. And I lost actually three of my pineapples that were doing good. I didn't have them in the soil yet, but I, I lost them because I just didn't have enough sun. I know that's what the deal is. And as you can see on the, the edges, that was starting to die out. And I was like, oh my goodness, I, I just got to get, put it in the soil. I, I see the color of it starting to change, starting to brighten up. And I've, I've got to get it in some light, some proper lighting. So, yeah, guys, uh, this is my new area. I'm going to see how it goes until this weather passes here. Uh, got to protect the babies here. Once again, that is the BP. 3000 bloom plus light now i do have it at a distance right here i started out at 12 inches it's a new light i, I don't believe it it says in the directions i didn't see it uh, how far to you know have the light up 
Um, I guess that's up to your decision. But I had it 12 inches, and the next morning I rushed out there to see, make sure that this light wasn't burning my plants. And um, I noticed on one of them that had a little bit of yellow, and I think another one, and that kind of concerned me. And there was another one that had a little bit of yellow into it. So I'm really going to back off the water, too. I mean, it's, the mo it's moist. I don't want it to dry out. But um, but I, I took and moved this light up. And I am guessing, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably about three feet. I meant to measure it from there to there. And I could still feel the heat up here. So when I had it 12 inches, I don't know, just a possibility that was just too close. So I've got it enough distance here that I feel like, and I'm watching them, that it's going to do good. Now, if I feel like I need to lower it down a little bit more, I mean, they're, they're really starting to look good. You know, these right here are a little crooked because I started out, they grew and germinated and grew so fast that I, uh, I was like, wow, I, I've got to do something quick. i got to, I get, got to get them up under a different lighting because we just don't have any sun. Usually I'll take a move mine out in the sun and rotate it, and it, it's always done pretty good and helps them to get used to the sunlight. All right, guys, thank you so much for watch, watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe, and remember to make it a great day. Those babies are starting to take off, and I'm fixing to get those in something right now. They came from Grower's Solution, and also Grower's, Grower's Solution had um, trees, fruit trees, a special for $59.95. I just checked it. They are actually sold out. It was five of them. You get $59.95, and they actually send you another one, which uh, makes sure the other one pollinates, but you might want to check Grower's Solution and uh, stay up date with that because that was a very good deal on those trees. I ended up reordering again and ordered me five more and once again they gave me six. So I've got 12 um, fruit trees to plant. I put them in some soil potty mix into five gallon buckets that I got from Walmart and drill holes in the bottom of it because it's so wet here and it's been so cold and it's, sometimes the ground is freezing and it's doing so many different things. I just wanted to go ahead and protect them, get those roots, um, because they're bare root. They came into a, like a six foot box, and uh, probably about eight by eight, six foot box. So they were bare root. I just want to protect those roots. All right, guys, thank you so much. And remember to make it a great day. Sunshine, are you making it a great day? You are. Who is it? Who? Who? All right, he's going to see. Y'all have a great day.